Hello everybody! In this video I will tell you everything in detail about setting up the free integrated antivirus and Windows Defender Security Center in Windows 10 Creators Update. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. In the previous video, the link to which you can see in the description, I have shown you how to disable, enable or delete Windows Defender in Build 1703 Creators Update. However, if you are not going to use VPN antivirus software, this video can be useful for you. In addition to the free antivirus, Microsoft integrated various protection functions into Windows Defender Security Center. For example, Device Performance and Health, Windows Firewall, Smart Screen Content Filter and Parental Control. To enter Windows Defender Security Center, open Windows Search, type Defender and select Windows Defender Security Center. After that, the new antivirus interface appears. If one of the components shows a red circle with a white cross or a, or a yellow triangle with a black exclamatory mark, it means there is a problem to fix. Such warning icons are also shown on the Windows Defender, Defender icon in the tray. Another special feature is that Windows Defender Security Center also checks the status of drivers installed in your system. Some load devices may show a yellow warning icon in the section Device Performance and Health because they lack compatible drivers. In this case, just ignore the warning. By the way, the older version of the application known as Windows Defender is still there. If you've got accustomed to using it in the previous build of this operating system, you can use it as well. To start it, Go to Disk C, Program Files, Windows Defender. In this folder, find the file msascui.exe and double click to start it. The most important function of the application is Virus and Threat Protection. To set it up, select Virus and Threat Protection or a corresponding button in the left pane of the Windows Defender Security Center window. In the window that opens, click on Virus and Threat Protection settings. First of all, enable real-time protection. If the slider for this function is in the off position, other settings may be unavailable or change and shown in grain color. Cloud-based protection is safe for most users. If you are worried about confidentiality, you can turn this component off. However, it is recommended to turn it on for best results. The setting Automatic Sample Submission is similar to previous settings, and you should keep it on. This option affects reliability of the cloud-based protection. If you are not an expert user, leave exclusion settings as they are. You should only change these settings if you clearly realize the consequences of your actions. The function Notifications allows users to study the information on last scans and see weekly activity reviews. Click on the link Change Notification Settings and turn the slider Receive Recent Activity and Scan Results on or off, as you wish. I recommend leaving Windows Firewall notifications on to ensure maximal protection. As well as many other antivirus programs, by default Windows Defender sends many infected objects into the quarantine, a protected folder where threats are kept safely and cannot damage your system. Windows Defender automatically deletes files from the quarantine after keeping them for three months. In order to get to the quarantine, select the menu Virus and Threat Protection – Scan History. If any threats are found in your device, in the Current Threats section you will see a button Start Actions, clicking on which sends the dangerous objects to the quarantine. Clicking on the link in the section Quarantine Threats – See Full History, you can see all threats that have been already quarantined. If you want to know what files were sent to the quarantine, you can click an item in the list and use the link See Details. The button Click History 
applies to all sections of the scan history. It clears the list of quarantine threads and the list of allowed threads forever. In the same place the section scan history, you can find the links to start quick scan or advanced scan. It should be noted that there is no need to start a quick scan, because Windows 10 Creators Update runs this type of scan with Windows Defender every day, by default at 3 am, together with updating Windows features and other tasks. If this operation was missed or cancelled because of the computer shutdown or restart, the scan will start next time after the computer is turned on or restarted. If the scan was not run for a long time, the center will inform you by showing a message – Windows Defender needs to scan your computer. Full scan of your system is recommended once a month to check the computer for viruses and other malware. You should also run a full antivirus scan of a system if the Windows Defender Security Center icon in the system tray shows a yellow or red warning. To run the full scan. In the Security Center, open the tab Virus and Threat Protection and click on the link Advanced Scan. Select the option Full Scan and click on Scan Now. Full system scan can take up several hours. Meanwhile, you can keep on using your computer. If no threats were found after the full scan, close the app after the scan is over. If any suspicious objects were detected, Windows Defender will show you a message that your device may have threats. It is worth waiting until the end of the scan to see details on the detected objects. After the scan is over, clean, click Clean PC to add dangerous files to the quarantine or the button Apply Actions to remove threats automatically. In the Advanced Scans menu, you can choose between Full Scan, Custom Scan and Windows Defender Offline Scan. We will not discuss custom scan in detail. There is nothing special there, just scanning particular files or folders. However, Windows Defender Offline Scan is a powerful autonomous scanning tool, which you can run from the trusted environment without booting the operating system. It is nothing but a system scan which runs while booting Windows. This function helps to remove resistant malware, rootkits and hidden threads, which use various methods to avoid antiviral protection when Windows is started. To run offline scan in Windows 10 Creators Update, close all open documents and running applications. In Security Center, open the tab Virus and Threat Protection and click on Advanced Scan. Select the option Windows Defender Offline Scan and click on Scan Now. Windows Defender will warn you that offline scan will take some time and that the computer needs to restart. Make sure that all documents are saved and click Scan. Windows will, will warn you that the computer restarts within one minute. Click Close and wait for the restart. After that, Windows Defender will run the offline scan and put detected threads into the quarantine automatically. The scan will take about 15 to 20 minutes. After the scanning and cleaning are over, the device will restart again. Log into the system to see that it is free from malware now. In the tab Virus and Threat Protection, there is another option – Protection Updates. By clicking on it, you can check if your virus databases are up to date. In our case, the protection system is up to date. The section Device Performance and Health shows information on Windows Update, storage capacity, device drivers and battery status for laptops and tablet PCs. The Health and Performance scan can take some time after the device starts, so relevant information may be available later. If there are any errors detected, they will be shown here. You will be suggested to open a Microsoft web page with step-by-step -step guide to fix the errors or click on the link for a quick fix. A little lower in the tab Device Performance and Health, you can find the section Fresh Start. This option is an automated way to resetting the system while keeping your personal files. It is not a new function, but you can use Windows Defender Security Center to reinstall Windows while keeping personal data. That is, it's actually one more way to reset the system. To reset the system, click the link Additional Info. Then click on Get Started and follow the on-screen directions. In the description, find the link to a detailed video guide on resetting Windows. 
The section Firewall and Network Protection gives you brief information on the status of Windows Firewall and Network Connections, private or public. Clicking on a certain network type, you can enable or disable the firewall and block all incoming connections, including requests from trusted apps. The links below network types open Control Panel version of Windows Firewall, Network and Internet Troubleshooter, Firewall Notification Settings, and Restore Firewall to Default. The section App and Browser Control allows to manage behavior of a Windows Defender component called Smart Screen. Check Apps and Files allows to set up work with unrecognized apps and files from the Internet. The default option is Warn, which is optimal for most users. For improved security, set the option to Block. The section Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge allows managing the same content filter that we may remember from Internet Explorer. This model protects your computer from malicious sites and downloads. The default option is Warn, but for improved protection I recommend choosing Block. The section Smart Screen for Windows Store Apps is meant to manage checking web content used in Windows Store Apps. There are only two options available – Warn and Off. If security matters, choose Warn. Follow the link in the description to watch a video on blocking apps and websites with Windows Defender Filter Smart Screen. The last section of Windows Defender Security Center – Family Options – contains only two links that take you to the web console to manage your Microsoft account. In the option Family Settings, View Family Settings – show it shows the family members who were added to Windows 10. You can view the activity of your kids online, the orders they made, the time they spent with the computer, their browser history, application, game and multimedia statistics, and even locate a person if their device supports such function. In order to add a child's account or temporarily block the current account in Windows 10, Start Settings, Go to Accounts, Select Family and Other People. Click Add a Family Member. Uh, you can do it by using one Microsoft account. Make sure the children's accounts have standard rights instead of administrator rights. The option View Devices shows the list of all family devices such as computers, laptops, tablet PCs and smartphones. You can locate devices, view their recent locations and delete all devices. To do it, you have to sign in your Microsoft account. That's all about menu items of Windows Defender Security Center. However, there are a couple of things to be noted to set up its correct and full-fledged operation. For some unknown reasons, by default Windows Defender does not scan removable media, for example USB drives or external hard disks but it can cause infecting your computer with viruses, malware or other unwanted applications. To fix this problem, start Windows PowerShell Administrator. In the interface of Windows PowerShell, insert the following command. Press Enter, and now Windows Defender in Windows 10 will always scan removable drives. If you face a situation when Windows Defender shows an error message Security Center service cannot be started, it means this service must have been disabled. Watch another video on our channel to see how to enable or disable Windows Defender. You can find the link in the description. As you may notice, Windows Defender graphical interface does not show scheduled scan settings. However, if you need to set up a scheduled scan, this is what you should do. Start Task Scheduler. Right-click on Task Scheduler Local and select Create Basic Task. Create Basic Task Wizard opens. Set the name and description for a scanning task and click Next. If you want the system to run a full scan, select Monthly. In the next window, you can select all months as well as choose a particular day and time to run a full scan. As you cannot limit the use of your processor resources, it is recommended to choose the time when your PC is idle, because the scanning process reduces the computer's performance. Next. 
When asked about the action, choose Start a program. Next, click Browse. Go to the folder C, Program Files, Windows Defender and double-click on the file mpcmd-run.exe. This executable file allows starting main tasks in Windows Defender. To run a full scan, enter the following in the field Add Arguments optional. Next. The setup process is almost over. Enable the option Open the Properties dialog for this task when I click Finish. Finish. The Properties window will open in the General tab. In the section Security Options, click on Change User or Group for the setting When running this task, use the following user account. In the field Enter the object name to select, type in System in capital letters and click Check Names. The name should become underlined. Click OK. This way the account with highest priority and rights will be selected. Get back to the tab General and check the box Run with highest privileges. Now Windows Defender will be run with the highest privileges, which guarantees successful removal of malware. Open the tab Settings and check the option. Run the task as soon as possible after a scheduled start is missed. If the computer was off at the time of the scheduled scan, it will run next time you turn on the computer and sign in your account. Click OK in the Settings window. Go to the Task Scheduler library to see that the task was created and is now shown on the scheduler list. During the scheduled operations, the command prompt window will appear and it will close automatically when the scan is over. That is all. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!